Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from the lava pit inside the Forge Room in this very first episode of Mole Hole Maintenance. Welcome, everybody! Boys and girls, subscribers and not subscribers, mamas and daddies and brothers and sisters and everybody! Welcome, 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 guys! <laughs> well, what can I say, man? We are back in the Mole Hole! But uh, we aren't here for Let's Play Minecraft. No, no, no. We are here for molehole maintenance, my friends. Because we are waiting for Minecraft 1.4 to happen uh, before we start on Season 2 of um, our Let's Play series. So for now, guys, what we're going to be doing is going through a series of maintenance episodes where um, we're literally just going to be fixing up all the things that need to be fixed up around the molehole. Man, there's so many things that need to get sorted out around here and before we start season two of let's play minecraft with rendog i want to make sure that everything is um is sorted that the molehole is ready for you guys it's basically like preparing the the molehole for my mum's visit or something like she's coming to stay with us up in this business i'm going to put her up in the in the lakeside villa because i know she likes uh you know, she, 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 she's, a, she's a classy lady. She wants to have a, a bit of a classy stay. So I'll stick her up in the Lakeside Villa. And we'll, stick, we'll hang around in the mole hole. But you know, um, she's going to want to come and see the rooms. She wants to come and see the progress of her freaking baby dog. And I'm going to make this place look sweet. And uh, what we're going to be starting to do first, guys, is starting to smelt some of this um, cobblestone. Because um eventually in season two we're going to have to start work on the wall of the mole hole and i want to make the wall out of um stone bricks and for that i need a buttload of stone um and that's exactly what we're doing here and what we're going to be working on specifically today is fixing up the outside of the mob spawner um and well look at this man the the roof of the the forge room is looking very very out of sync at the moment man um, so why don't we just sort this out quickly? I think what we're going to do is, hmm, we, it looks like we're going to have to make everything into slavage because these beams over here, th this is actually the floor of um, the molehole station above us. We're going to have to make all of it slavage, I think. But guys, can you hear that water going on, man? Wow, that is so annoying. Um, that water has been going on now. Well, it's just, it never ends. And I realized that what that water is, is in fact the old wheat farm on the floor beneath this floor. So um, we're going to have to go and kill those water sources because, you know, man, hanging out in the molehole, I just want to, I just want to go to the bathroom all the time, man. It's making me want to wee. Because all I can hear is water flowing everywhere, man. Seriously, that my, my mama dog is not going to be happy when she gets here. How's she going to sleep with all this freaking water um, pouring everywhere, man? Seriously. So um, we're just going to be spending the next, I don't know, I don't know how many maintenance episodes there'll be. There'll probably be like 10 or so. Um, right now, it's what, October 7th or so, 2012. If you're with us from the future, welcome. Um, but Minecraft 1.4 is coming out in as I believe um, uh, Halloween 2012. So we are literally just waiting for Halloween to kick in before we start Season 2, baby. So we can start Minecraft um, on a brand new patch. We can start a, the season on a brand new patch. And uh, that's just going to be sweet, man. Now, I know that this is a, an obscene waste of slabbage going on over here. Um, but you know what? We're about to make so much slabbage. Um, it'll make your mama cry. And... Um, we need to sort out this freaking forge room, man, because it is not looking pretty. Um, I'm going to put this crafting table down here, too, because I think what we need to do is add another couple of chests to those missing chests over there. Um, oh, and we can now actually fix that piece of floor over there, guys. That piece of floor over there, which is the wrong floor. I know that's been driving some of you guys absolutely crazy. So let's, let's deal with that, man. You are the wrong type of flow. Get out of there. Um, I think this is the right type of floor. I hope so anyway. Yes, finally. <laughs> Man, finally we got to fix that floor. Um, now, we need to make a couple more bits of slabbage. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Get in my belly slabbage. Um, so, guys, while we're working on um, the maintenance episodes, I thought that we could start having a chat about 
season two and exactly what's going to be happening in season two and uh now is your opportunity guys to get those ideas in man because in season two um we're going to be doing a lot of stuff that the cyber dogs recommend um a lot of the builds that i do are going to be driven by you guys by the subscribers and um and of course that's how we did season one and it ended up really really cool i was so happy with all the stuff that we built i mean basically everything that i built in season one was inspired uh, by the by the subscribers by what you guys were recommending to me in the comment section below d during the videos man and i think that is such a sweet way to do a minecraft series because it you know it involves everybody everybody feels like they're contributing and um and uh, you know it just it helps me get inspiration also man and and it's i think it's freaking sweet um so that is looking much better isn't it guys um above the chests are still we still got problems above the chests though but uh, man, it is hard to hit these blocks. I, oh, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit the blocks actually, without breaking the slabbage first. All right, we're going to have to do it this way. We're going to have to do it the hard way. Uh, and this one, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, we're going to have to break the slabbage. Um, but I, I must say, man, it does feel good finally getting to just fixing up the stuff in the mole hole, because you know the series just got really intense and. We had such a, a tight schedule to stick to. We had so much stuff to do. We had the ravine to find. The, the lakeside villa took up a lot, a lot of construction time. And, um, oh man, you see, I've now actually broken the floor there, but that's cool. Um, and I just never really had an opportunity just to do these small fixes to the mole hole. Um, and I know, guys, that, that, that loads of you um, suffer from freaking OCD um, Ah, uh, gamer OCD, gamer OCD kicking in, um, and <laughs> I know that OCD kicks in for a lot of you cyber dogs out there. So hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna help alleviate some of that freaking um, <laughs> some of that OCD in these maintenance episodes. And what I'm gonna try and do is probably get I don't know three or four of these done a week, so that we can we can basically get back to doing some some daily Minecraft for you guys. Um, I was I did say that at the end of season one i was going to take a break but guys you don't even you don't even realize how difficult it is for me to actually take a break man i, I love doing this for you guys man i want to uh, you know i want to be able to do this every day for you man so oops uh oh speaking of ocd we just took out all our torches um so <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna carry on doing this for you guys and see if we can get um, at least a few Minecraft episodes done a week, if not one every day, until Season 2 begins in earnest um, after Halloween 2012, baby. Mm. Um, maybe what I should do is make an axe, because I'm probably going to be... Um, I'm probably going to need an axe now as we venture forth to fix the freaking mob spawner. I think I can just make a, a cobblestone axe, actually. That'll do. Let's make a couple of those. Sweet! Alright, so, everything is looking great up in here, man. Everything is smelting just the way that I want it to. Um, we've got a whole bunch of stone smelting up in this business that we're eventually going to turn into stone bricks. Um, let's just make sure. I just want to make sure that everything is sorted, guys. Um, I don't want to don't want to send any of you guys into an OCD rage. Um, wow, the forge room is looking awesome! Sweet, man! Well, that I would I would say that that is a success. Give me a freaking cyber dog high five for fixing the forge. I, I won't do it with a sword though. <laughs> right, next up guys. We are now going to be fixing up the mob spawner. Um, this is something we built way back in season one episode. I don't know what it was, episode 80 or something, I guess, something like that. And uh, we never got around to actually fixing it. And, um, you know, it's looking kind of ugly, man. And, uh, oh Lord, oops. Um, <laughs> I broke it. I broke the circuit, mama. I'm sorry that I broke the circuit, mama. All right. Um, let me just quickly fix this circuit. So this piece of... Oops, I broke... Oh, oh my God. It's just... It's all going pitong up in this business, guys. I'm breaking the circuitry. Um, this is not good. Right. Well, let's start from up here, right? So this is... Um, Let's see. Let's take this up. Or not, actually. Where? What? What in the freak? What in the... What? What in the... F Whoa, I am confused, man. 
So we were up here, right? And... Oh, <laughs> man, I don't know what is, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I was tripping. I was I've been I've been tripping, yo. Okay, there we go. This is this is where we broke everything. Um, so what we need is a block over here, and we need to pick up that extender circuit again. And I do believe, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right, all right. There we go, guys. So this needs to go over here. And the redstone needs to be added to there. There we go. All right. We are back in business. So basically, I can't touch any of these things that I've built. Um, do not touch these things. Um, so I think what we're going to do here is... Let's have a look. How's this gonna, how is this going to work? Um, I think what we're going to try and do is sort of make an extension around here. I know that we... we here is the the redstone workage over here right so what we might do is take out this middle section turn it into wood so it'll be kind of like a wooden um stripe all the way around the mob spawner i think that'll look pretty sweet but uh before we do that i think what we're going to do is make like a a no-go zone like this right and it's just going to look like there we go there we go i mean you know, we, we know what's behind there, man. We know that it's not cool behind there, but there we go. That, you see, that actually just does the trick. That just fixes all the aesthetic problems of what we did there. There we go. Look at that, man. Looking, That is looking sweet. I'm happy with that. Um, what do you guys think, man? There we go. Bam! Problem solved. Nice. And maybe we could put a painting there or something um, at some point when we get to decorating this bad boy. Now, let us get out here, and this is where the real work begins. Um, so what I want to do is I think, oh wait, we just made this. <laughs> um, I think we're going to start it from, maybe we start it from down here actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, let's do it like that. So what we need to do is have the right kind of wood, which I do believe is this kind. No, that. That ain't wood. Oh, this is actually a slabbage, but that's fine. Because check it out, right? Oh, man. All right, there we go. Sweet. So this is going to run all the way around. Um, what we actually, what we do need is some dirt, man. We need to make some, some scaffolding. Mm, I love me some scaffolding. Um, oh, and man. Um... I don't know how many of you guys are following my Take It series that I'm playing with my brother, but um, why don't you go check it out? It's Ren Dog and Real Gox, my brother from the same freaking mama. We're currently playing Take It, man, and we are having so much fun. And one of the sweetest things that one of you guys told me is that you can actually get scaffolding, um, which I guess is kind of like leaves uh, in, in normal Minecraft, and it doesn't damage your tools when you break them, when you break it. How sweet is that, man? That is the sweetest. Right, so we're just going to make some, some... Look at this tree over here, this obnoxious tree. That definitely needs to get taken out, man. My OCD is kicking in. We cannot have that existing for much longer. Um, right, so... Let's get this done. Now look how much we have to do. We have to change this floor. So this floor is not looking sweet, man. This this floor needs to get its ass cobblestoned. Um, at the moment, it's just looking it's looking amateur, man. Amateur. Mama Dog is not going to be pleased with this amateur work, man. She ex she expects only the best. All right, there we go. I mean, you know, none of this is necessary, really. But I just I just don't think I can um, carry on playing in this world without actually just making it sweet. Like as sweet as it can possibly be. You know what I'm saying? How many of you guys are like that out there, man? I know there's some Minecraft players who are like aren't really bothered with the way things look. But I know that there's loads that, um, you know, just cannot have asymmetrical stuff. Or stuff that doesn't line up properly. Or, or stuff that looks weird. Or um, anything like that, like that. I don't think I'm really, really, really um, over the top. But... I do like stuff to look good, you know? So I think what we're going to do here is end it here, and then we'll add slabbage over here. 
is they wouldn't slab it up in this business? Nope. Well, in that case, we shall make slabbage. I summon forth slabbage. Sweet. All right, so now we're going to make the slabbage up in here. Looking good. Hmm. Well, actually not looking so good. <laughs> um, wow, look at all of this mess. Did a creeper explode over here or something man that is looking nasty okay well we're gonna have to get to that once we fix uh, this up i mean what we could do i i do want to i do kind of want to make this a, a window over here though um so i think what we will do i think i'll sort that out once i've sorted out the outside of this mob spawner um let us just let's carry on with the work over here so I think we're going to take it up to this level over here, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. It actually it needs to be even higher than that, though. Because it needs to be one level above this. Um, so what have we got here? We've got one wood and then two stone. So what we could do is... Hmm. This is tricky, man, because I don't know how we're gonna how we're gonna hide this redstone cabling. I think I think we have to do this though. Either way. Right. And I think I think yeah yeah yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna do this. Oops, that one's not right, but that's that's fine for now. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, okay, guys, I'm, I, I, I got it, man. I think I nailed it. Okay, so we, we're gonna do this like this, and then we're gonna do another two. And we have to do two like this, right? Because what we need to do is add torches into this corridor of redstone here so that, you know, it doesn't spawn anything. Oh, I'm a genius, people. I'm telling you, I'm a genius. And um, let's just add some some torches up in here. Kablam. Kaplooey. Kaplooey. And then, I mean, I'm going to have to fix all of this up, but this is just the general uh, the general design for now, guys. You'll see what I'm what I'm about to do now, and then we're going to close it off with one more layer of wood like this. And I think if we go down, let's just get rid of the scaffolding so we can get a good look at it as the sun goes down. And I'm going to take out this tree now for sure, man. Tree, you have made me angry. And I'm not gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna turn you into charcoal. For my barbecue! Ow! The sheep and cows are just like, dude, you are such a noob. Um, I think from now on I'm gonna definitely be using um, leaves as scaffolding. It's so much better. This is like the best scaffolding ever. Right, let's just take out this tree. There, there is the root of the tree. You're obscuring the view, man. Die. Oh, oh, wow! Look at that, man. That needs that needs work uh, right away. I'm afraid this episode is basically over. But there's just one more thing I need to fix, and that is this gaping, gaping hole um, over here. This is just this will not do. This will not do. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, guys. So, whew, that is the end of this episode. But let us quickly go have a look at what it looks like. Have we fixed it? Um, 
almost it what we need to do as you can see we're one block too far here so we need to do one block here and then i think what we'll do is make it come out also just to make it look less square but guys you get the idea about what we're doing over here for this area um i'm gonna cut off this uh, column over here to try and make it less square uh, try and make it look a little bit rounded and maybe do another maybe do some of these things that we have in the mob spawner sticking out of there to make uh, to make it look a bit more um, congruent but guys whew, damn what an episode that was man i hope you enjoyed it uh, the very first mole hole maintenance episode is now over and if you enjoyed the episode guys hit the like button and um, if you are excited for season two hit that like button again and guys leave me a comment if you want to any suggestions um, of what i should be doing around the mole hole what should i be maintaining Leave me those uh, th those suggestions in the comment section below, guys. This has been Rendog maintaining the molehole, and we'll see your asses in the next video. Good freaking bye!